All right, grab your favorite mug because today we're gonna to actually talk about beverages. And I'm gonna talk about beverages that can actually help fuel your body for longevity. It's incredible how simple changes in our beverage choices can have profound effects on our health and lifespan. So let's explore these drinks together and uncover how they can benefit our well being. The first beverage we're gonna discuss is green tea, one of my favorites. It contains a bioactive compound called catechin, specifically EGCG, epigallocatechin gallate. This compound is beneficial for our health. It lowers inflammation, which is important for long-term health and longevity. It also protects our telomeres, the protective caps at the ends of our DNA that shorten as we age, thus slowing down the cellular aging process. Research shows that green tea also supports the health of our vascular endothelium, the delicate lining inside our blood vessels, which helps blood flow smoothly throughout the body. The better the blood flow, the longer the life. When your blood vessels are healthy, you have a shot at being healthy. When your blood vessels are sick, you have no chance of actually having optimal health. Green tea's benefits extend beyond blood vessel health. It has been shown to boost metabolism, which can aid in weight management and increase energy levels. The antioxidants in green tea, particularly EGCG, help combat free radicals in the body, reducing the risk of chronic diseases such as cancer and heart disease. Regular consumption of green tea is also linked to improved brain function. The caffeine and amino acid L-theanine found in green tea work together to enhance brain activity, improve mood, and increase focus and concentration. Green tea has antibacterial properties that can help improve dental health by killing bacteria and reducing the risk of infections. It may also help reduce bad breath. Studies have indicated that green tea can improve insulin sensitivity and reduce blood sugar levels making it beneficial for those with diabetes. With its wide range of health benefits, incorporating green tea into your daily routine can be a simple yet effective way to support overall health and well-being. And green tea has also been shown to be good for your gut microbiome. Healthy gut, healthy life. Uh, we do know that people who reach super centenarian ages, uh, they actually have very, very unique gut microbiomes. Green tea actually helps to get you there. My great uncle, by the way, lived to 104 years old and he attributed his longevity uh, to living at the base of a tea mountain where every morning at 4 a.m. he would actually get up and, and walk uh, up to a tea pavilion and sip cups of tea. He probably had 10 cups of green tea uh, every day. So physical activity, green tea, all these things are quite important for longevity. Green tea has been consumed for centuries, particularly in Asian cultures, for its numerous health benefits. One of its most significant advantages is its high content of antioxidants, which help combat oxidative stress and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. In addition to EGCG, green tea contains other important polyphenols that contribute to its health-promoting properties. Studies have shown that regular consumption of green tea can improve brain function thanks to its caffeine content and the amino acid L-theanine, which together have synergistic effects. Green tea has also been linked to improved fat burning and increased metabolic rate, making it a popular choice for those looking to manage their weight. Green tea has been found to enhance cardiovascular health by lowering LDL cholesterol and triglycerides. It also improves arterial function and reduces the risk of developing heart disease. The anti-inflammatory and anti-carcinogenic properties of green tea may also help lower the risk of certain types of cancer. Incorporating green tea into your daily routine can be a simple yet effective way to boost overall health and well-being. Okay, next beverage, coffee. I have a cup of coffee every morning. Uh, I usually have espresso sometimes a double, it really helps wake me up. And I actually love the taste of coffee. Now, coffee has caffeine, uh, that's the stimulant, but coffee also has a bioactive called chlorogenic acid. And chlorogenic acid, again, helps to slow down the process of cellular aging. It actually protects your telomeres, again, those protective caps, 
from burning down too quickly. So coffee has actually been shown to uh, be associated with uh, longevity and more vibrant uh, life. You want good quality of life and coffee definitely is in there. Additionally, coffee has numerous other health benefits. Studies have shown that it can improve mental focus and concentration, which is why many people rely on it to start their day. Coffee is also rich in antioxidants, which help fight free radicals in the body, reducing oxidative stress and lowering the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease and certain cancers. Moderate coffee consumption has been linked to a reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The bioactive compounds in coffee, including chlorogenic acid, can improve insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism, which are key factors in diabetes management. For those concerned about liver health, coffee can be beneficial as well. Regular coffee drinkers have been found to have a lower risk of liver conditions such as cirrhosis and liver cancer. Now, a couple of little tips about coffee. Organic coffee has more of this chlorogenic acid, this anti-inflammatory cellular aging slowdown um, substance. The other thing, if you want to get the most out of the chlorogenic acid in your coffee, you don't want to use dairy milk. You can use nut milk, almond milk, soy milk, those are all fine, but dairy milk, in coffee forms little soap bubbles and those soap bubbles wrap themselves around that chlorogenic acid. So when you sip that coffee, the soap bubble actually tumbles down uh, your gut and you don't actually absorb all of the chlorogenic acid. Some of it just tumbles all the way down and you excrete it. So you're missing out on some of the good stuff. Here's another important point about coffee. Many people add sugar to their coffee. Avoid doing that. It's better to enjoy pure coffee without spiking your glucose levels. A general rule for good health is to avoid added sugar. So if you drink coffee every morning, I recommend having it straight. If you find black coffee too bitter, try adding a splash of unsweetened almond milk or a dash of cinnamon for a hint of flavor without the sugar. Both options can enhance the taste without negatively impacting your health. Cinnamon, in particular, has its own health benefits, including anti-inflammatory properties and the ability to help regulate blood sugar levels. Another tip is to experiment with different types of coffee beans and brewing methods. Sometimes, the bitterness that people dislike in coffee comes from over-roasting or brewing with very hot water. Lighter roasts and alternative brewing methods like a French press or cold brew can produce a smoother, less bitter cup. By keeping your coffee free of added sugars and experimenting with these tips, you can enjoy a healthier and more flavorful coffee experience each morning. Next beverage we're gonna talk about is pomegranate juice. Now, most of you will know what a pomegranate looks like, maybe a whole fruit. It's kind of a big, heavy, apple-y looking thing, red fruit, it's got a little crown at the top. And if you cut it open, inside are all these seeds and around every seed is this layer of juice, really sweet, absolutely delicious. You can put the pomegranate seeds on a salad or what have you, but you can also get pomegranate juice. And the way they make pomegranate juice is they cut the um, pomegranate in half and they press the seeds out. And if it pressed out through the skin, you actually get elagitanins. Now these are natural bioactives that are found inside the pomegranate seed in that juice. And a lot of it's also in the rind. So when you press the juice through the rind, you pick up a lot of the um, elagitanins. Now, what do these actually do that's uh, helpful for longevity? Well, it turns out that the elagitanins uh, are not only anti-inflammatory, good for healthy aging, but the elagitanins also cause your gut, okay, your lower gut, your colon, to secrete mucus. Now, this is normal. We make mucus in our mouth and we also make it in our lower gut, in our colon. And the mucus in your colon, by the way, helps all the stuff slide through so you can actually be regular, right? Not constipated. But that mucus also supports the growth of a very, very important healthy bacteria called Acromantia mucinophila. Now, some people call it mucinophilia. No, it's mucinophila. Acromantia seems to be a guardian bacteria of our health. We've got trillions of bacteria. We're just beginning to pick through them, but we do know that acromantia is really important. What does acromantia do? It activates your immune system and helps fight cancer. 
Cancer patients need acromancia to respond to immunotherapy. It's essential, not optional. It can be a matter of life and death. Acromancia also helps prevent diabetes and may help prevent obesity and dementia. Research is still ongoing, but there's a protein fragment of acromancia called P9 that also promotes longevity. Acromancia is stimulated by colon mucus, which in turn is stimulated by elegitanins found in pomegranate juice. In addition to its role in cancer and diabetes prevention, acromancia has other important functions. It helps maintain a healthy gut barrier, preventing harmful bacteria and toxins from entering the bloodstream. This can reduce inflammation and support overall gut health. Acromancia also influences the balance of gut microbiota, promoting beneficial bacteria and suppressing harmful ones. This balance is crucial for digestive health and can affect everything from nutrient absorption to mood regulation. If you can't find pomegranate juice, uh, cranberry juice and Concord grape juice also good, but I want to talk about pomegranate juice. Now it's pretty sweet, so you don't want to have a ton of it. Uh, what I always tell people is just have eight fluid ounces, that's one cup of pomegranate juice, and that's it. You're not talking about hydrating yourself with pomegranate juice, we're talking about getting the elagitanin in order to be able to get your gut uh, to grow uh, uh, the uh, acromancia mucinophila for overall health, immune health, and also to be able to actually uh, act as a factor for longevity. Pomegranate juice also offers other impressive health benefits. It's rich in antioxidants, particularly punicolagins and anthocyanins, which help combat inflammation and oxidative stress. This can lower the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, cancer, and arthritis. The anti-inflammatory properties of pomegranate juice can also benefit joint health and reduce symptoms of conditions like osteoarthritis. Pomegranate juice has been shown to improve heart health by lowering blood pressure, reducing cholesterol levels, and improving blood flow. These cardiovascular benefits make it a heart-healthy choice. Additionally, pomegranate juice can improve memory and cognitive function. Studies suggest that the antioxidants in pomegranate juice help protect the brain from damage caused by free radicals, potentially reducing the risk of Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia. However, like with coffee, moderation is key. Pomegranate juice is high in natural sugars, so consuming it in controlled amounts ensures you reap the benefits without overloading on sugar. All right, next beverage, watermelon juice. Now, you might have be surprised that I'm talking about watermelon juice because, well, if you just have a watermelon during the summertime, think about how juicy it is. So you don't need to actually squeeze it out into a beverage, but I can actually tell you, you can buy watermelon juice. You can actually press out watermelon juice. It's really delicious. It's very good for hydration. Um, not too sweet either, but watermelon juice contains a natural bioactive called lycopene. And you might have heard of lycopene in the context of tomatoes. I talk about tomatoes all the time. Tomatoes are a great source of lycopene and watermelon juices too. Lycopene is what gives both tomatoes and watermelons their red color. This compound has amazing antioxidant properties, protecting your DNA from damage. When you eat watermelon or drink its juice, it acts as a shield for your DNA, protecting it from damage such as ultraviolet radiation. So, drinking watermelon juice before spending time in the sun can help reduce sun damage to your skin. How much before? A couple of hours, we'll usually do it. You could also have a tomato salad. But we're talking about beverages here, so make sure it's real watermelon and not watermelon flavoring. Make sure it's not sugar sweetened. You just want uh, real watermelon juice, great for hydration, great for protecting your DNA against uh, sun damage. It's kind of like sunscreen from the inside out in a beverage that's also hydrating. If you actually uh, want to live a long time, you're going to get a lot of accumulated damage of DNA by being outside, getting your vitamin D, uh, enjoying the outdoors, uh, walking around, exercising. All these factors come into play. So why not protect your DNA from the inside out? That's watermelon juice. In addition to its protective effects against sun damage, watermelon juice also offers other health benefits. It is a good source of vitamins A and C, which are important for skin health 
immune function, and overall well-being. Vitamin A helps maintain healthy vision and supports the growth of new skin cells, while vitamin C is essential for collagen production, aiding in skin repair and resilience. Moreover, watermelon juice is hydrating due to its high water content, making it an excellent choice for staying hydrated, especially in hot weather. It also contains potassium, which helps maintain electrolyte balance and supports heart and muscle function. Including watermelon juice in your diet can be a tasty and effective way to boost your health and protect your body from various forms of damage. The fifth beverage I'm gonna talk about is a cocoa drink. Now, cocoa uh, is made uh, with cacao, which is a dark chocolate, and uh, you can it can be consumed hot or it can be consumed cool, right? And uh, in fact, cocoa beverages used to be kind of nectar of the gods uh, in the Mayan culture and in the Incas, they use them ceremonially. So you've heard about chocolate, um, cacao ceremonies. Well, this is actually where it actually comes from, really treating the uh, cacao uh, as a valuable substance. And the reason it's actually so good for longevity is because there are flavanols, proanthocyanidins. So we're, we don't know every bioactive, but we, we're beginning to know what some of the important ones are in cacao, dark chocolate, proanthocyanidins in a beverage. When you drink it, will actually get into your body and they are, they call out special cells from your bone marrow. So these are called stem cells or progenitor cells. And these stem cells, which live in our bone marrow, come flying out of our bone marrow, like bees coming out of a hive, and they circulate in our bloodstream. And you know what they do? They actually regenerate any organ that needs, that's damaged, that needs to be fixed. And they can also wing by our blood vessels, looking for areas uh, like potholes in a road in order to be able to patch up and fix. Cocoa drink, derived from cacao and dark chocolate, aids in internal regeneration. It enhances blood flow, promoting optimal blood vessel health, which is crucial for longevity. This improvement in blood circulation not only supports cardiovascular health, but also ensures efficient delivery of nutrients and oxygen throughout the body. Maintaining healthy blood vessels is essential for reducing the risk of heart disease, stroke, and other vascular conditions. By consuming cocoa regularly, whether hot or cold, you can harness its beneficial properties to support your overall well-being and promote longevity. Furthermore, cocoa and dark chocolate contain other bioactive compounds that contribute to overall health. For instance, they are rich in antioxidants, such as flavonoids, which help combat oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. These antioxidants play a role in protecting cells from damage caused by free radicals, thereby reducing the risk of chronic diseases and supporting immune function. Additionally, consuming cocoa has been associated with cognitive benefits. Studies suggest that the flavonoids in cocoa may improve brain function, including memory, focus, and mood. Regular consumption of dark chocolate has also been linked to improved mood and reduced stress levels, potentially due to its ability to stimulate the production of endorphins and serotonin in the brain. It's important to choose dark chocolate with a high cocoa content, 70% or higher, to maximize these health benefits while minimizing sugar intake. Incorporating cocoa or dark chocolate into your diet as part of a balanced and healthy lifestyle can contribute to better overall health and longevity. So here you go, let's recap. Green tea, coffee, pomegranate juice, watermelon juice, and cocoa, uh, cocoa uh, drink, all good for uh, longevity. That's what I actually recommend if you want to look for um, some a variety of beverages to actually have. And I've given you little tiny tips um, on how to actually um, handle and drink uh, each one. Now remember, the best beverage for hydration is water. So you don't want to forget about water. Water is probably the most important uh, beverage to be able to have for longevity. You want to stay hydrated, okay? Always stay hydrated, but water doesn't have the bioactives. All these other uh, beverages we talked about today have those bioactives that are good for good long-term health, vitality, and longevity. Thanks for joining me today as we explore the top five drinks that can help you live longer and healthier. 
I hope you found these insights useful for your journey to better health. If you have any questions or need more information, drop a comment below. I'm eager to hear from you. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more health tips, and check out our other videos for even more ways to live a vibrant and fulfilling life.